so lovely to meet you, Ella. Um, an emphatic 6-0 win uh, here in Crystal Palace for Aston Villa. How do you feel, what, what are your overall thoughts of the, how the game went for you? Yeah, we were like, really happy. I think we played well so far this season, but I think today... Is that of, four wins out of four? Four wins out of four, yeah. And I think today, and last game as well in patches, but we only won 2-1. Well. I think today everything kind of came together and mm -hmm. like, the passing movements we've been working on and stuff. Um, yeah, as I said, that came together and I think 6-0 is just kind of proof of the hard work we've put in really over the past eight weeks, uh, working on the way we play, um, out of possession and in possession. So yeah, we're really happy with today. It's quite a, a hot day down here in Kent today. Yeah. Were you kind of like quite wary of maybe the weather? Would the weather play a part? Would the heat play a part before you actually got kicked off? Um, I don't think we really... Worried about, about that too much. much. Obviously, like drinking plenty of water and stuff. But mm -hmm. we played a couple of weeks ago. Um, it was a Sunday and it was like 32 degrees here. So we're used. To, like we can play in the heat and we won last time. So it wasn't really something that was gonna like fail our mind or anything. We just turned up and all we wanted, no matter what the weather was, we just wanted the three points. So, yeah. As the game progressed, you seemed to get stronger and stronger and stronger. I think like Palace had a few chances in the first half, yeah. but I think you pretty much dominated the second half. Yeah. Is that a fair enough point? Yeah, like, I think you know? definitely. I think, yeah, as you said, first half they had a couple of like, half chances. Um, but I think The early goal helped you. Yeah, you the know, early goal helped us. Like two I minutes, think Emma yeah. Follis's free kick was just at the right time. Just because, mm -hmm. And I think that probably was a bit of a... Um, that was probably quite disappointing for them just before I was like, to go in like 2-0 down. Mm -hmm. But I think we, we do like a lot of running in, in training and stuff and I think these extra sessions are definitely starting to pay off now because we were just I think we were relentless. Like as soon as we got one we just kept wanting to get another one. So mm -hmm. yeah. You seem like Villa seem to be on their way, you know, four wins out of four, mm -hmm. which is a fantastic start. Yeah. You know, you seem to be striving, mm -hmm. you know, for the for the Premier League, you know, like you Yeah, know, definitely. I like there's such a I wasn't there last year so I've only moved this year but there's a real like it's so professional mm -hmm. you know we train at the men's training ground we have access to all the facilities they do so I think that's really helped and like there's a kind of everyone's just come together at the club and I think they just really want the women's team to do well so it's really good to kind of be here this year and hopefully like do really well in the league. Well, congratulations on today. I was going to actually ask you, but as this is the first time I met you, hopefully more meetings yeah. in, the, in the Premier League. <laughs> <laughs> um, when did football come into your life? How, how long have you um, been playing now? So I've been playing since I was about 10. I probably mm -hmm. started a bit later than most people. Um, but like my family and she aren't into football at all, so it was a bit of a strange one that I think it's like playing. Uh, but yeah, I just played with boys at primary school and then... Mm -hmm. Was there a girls team at your school? There wasn't a girls team at the school and I remember being the only girl on the team. And then um, as soon as I... And then I think at 10 I went to play for Summertown Stars. They were in Oxford for like mm -hmm. a couple of months. And then I went to Oxford Centre of Excellence. Mm -hmm. So I was there for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And then when I came to uni I moved to Leicester last year and then came to Leicester. Was there a, a girl footballer that you aspired to at all? Was it in, in the early days? Was that like Kelly loved, Smiths or yeah, anything? Yeah, I was Karen like Carney. When, Karen when Carney. she was like, she probably was about 20 when I watched her when I was like 10. Mm -hmm. And I, I literally just remember like loving the way she played and stuff. I've interviewed um, Karen yeah, several times. Yeah, so, like, she's so nice. She's like, such a lovely person as well. Lovely, yeah, such a, so her, grounded. Mm, I played mm -hmm. her a couple of times. And I think when I played her when I was like 16, I remember mm -hmm. being so like starstruck. Like, oh my God, it's Karen Carney. Mm -hmm. But yeah, um, I think she definitely was my favourite player. I did quite a lot of work with Birmingham a few years ago and at the time they had like Mel Lawley and um, they had like they had really, uh, yeah, Joe really Potter team, and yeah, yeah but brilliant team, yeah, you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and another person who I really, really like was Jade Moore. Jade plays for England. Yes, yeah, and yeah. She's a brilliant she's, tackler. Yeah, she's sent a bit of a yeah, 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 an absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Oh, so, you know. And what, what are your what are your ambitions in football? Um, ultimately, like yeah, everyone else, play professionally. Like, I mm -hmm. would love to have the opportunity to play professionally. Like that's what I've been working towards. And I hope, obviously, if it's next year, then great. But mm -hmm. even if it's not, then that is just the ultimate. To be able to like wake up in the morning and just go training is your job. That would be. I think. Are you? Uh, would you say you're confident as a team? Do you I think, think you can? Confident. Do you think you can do this? Yeah, I think we you can. Know. We've, we've definitely got the ability. It's just such a. It was obviously last year there were two going up, this year it's only one, so mm -hmm. I think... It's a great incentive. It is, it is really. It's a brilliant yeah. incentive, you know. Um, it's going to be a really hard season, but I think we've definitely got the ability and we've got like the togetherness, I think, to kind of 
even when we're not playing our best, like we will grind our results. I think that's like something that might kind of push us to the end. Really. Yeah. Well, that's well, listen, well, well, listen. In my eyes, like I said, I think you had a storming game, yeah. so in control at the back. Do you do you actually um, do you prefer being at? Are, are you are you a natural defender or do you like? Because um, you was, get forward a lot, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I was a centre midfielder about a year and a half ago. Right. So that, hence the you getting forward yeah, into yeah, the penalty yeah. so area. Yeah, I am, um, and I was like an attacking. I, I love dribbling, like with the ball. So, mm -hmm. and then my manager one day. I asked him if I could play at fullback, and he was like, he was like, what? Like, that's really weird. Why can't you play at fullback? And I was like, I know, like, I could be a good player at fullback. So he played me at fullback, and then that was about two years ago. And since then, I haven't really looked back. Like, I just, yeah, I really love the position. It's the best of both. Like, I can get forward, and I also really like defending. Like, mm -hmm. if you're up against a good player, it's that kind of, I kind of thrive with that. So. Yeah. Well, listen, it's, I'm just being, I've just got started getting back into women's football again, yeah. and you're the first person I've interviewed for ages, and you've given me confidence oh, as well, so you. it's confidence on both sides. <laughs> just yeah. but, listen, but listen, I, just, I wish you all the best for the rest of the season, and I, I do hope that we can cross paths again when, so, when yeah. you were in the Super League. I hope so. I really, really do. <laughs> listen, take care, Ella. Thanks I'm loving so meeting you. Thank, Thank you. you.